All right, good afternoon, folks. We are at the Merle, Merle uh, Hockey Arena down in Saskatoon. We're going to see a matchup against uh, Sandy Lake Chief Saskatchewan and Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation Stars. We're moving up the ladder. These guys are fired up. They're raring to go. They want Freddy. Come on down. Come and watch some great hockey. We have another game in Merle 1 here. That's going down with Nunavut and uh, I believe it was uh, Cross Lake, I believe. All right, here we go. The boys are lining up here. We're getting ready. The boys are huddling. They're ready to go. And we're getting piped up here, boys. Let's go. Even I'm getting excited for the game. That's how exciting this hockey is. So come on down. Come and watch some real hockey. You're going to have a great time down here. I'd like to say a big a big uh, hello to my sister, Ethel McDermott, out in Amis Lake, Saskatchewan. Here we go. Love you, sister. Pauline, Jaren, and Maddie. Here you go, mother. 
Darlene, everybody back home. Here we go. They're ready to drop the puck here. The boys are ready to go. Number 75 is ready. Peter Ballantyne's ready to go. They're hungry. They're ready to go, folks. They're ready to go. Like I said, even I'm excited about this game. All right, here we go. Puck drop right away, folks. Let's go. And we got player here right away. First period, 14 minutes. Of the, we got Sandy Lake Chiefs. We got puck possession number five. Number five goes up to number, who, who do we got here? We've got number 75. 75 decides to go shoot it in. Shoots it in. There's, there's no icing on that call. It's legit. It's good. We have, we got possession number, who do we have here? We got defenseman. Oh, he's going to flip it up. That's a great play. Whenever you're doing that, you want to move it out. We got, we got this guy by the name. Uh, his name's Willits. And uh, all right, here we go. I was able to get a couple names off the uh, uh, Peter Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation Stars uh, lineup, and uh, we've got some good ones in the lineup. We've got some imports right from Florida, Pensacola. All right, that's a uh, hockey league down there. We got an import by the by a, a name of Joe Hicketts. He's on defense. He's wearing the Dume shirt, but just so you know. All right, here we go. We're going to take a shot. That's a block shot into the knee. And here we go. It's still being played in, into the uh, zone of uh, Peter Bowden. He flips it out. Uh, uh, Joe Hicketts, number 41, passes over to his They're moving back and forth. They're getting set up. They're moving up. Oh, he gets poke. He gets poke check. 84, die out. We got Michelle, number 11, going up. Oh, we got number. Here we go. We got Olsen. He takes a shot. And he could have. Here we go, that was a good shot. I would have waited a few seconds and delayed that shot, maybe do a toe drag, but I'm sure the coaches will fix that up and make sure that's noted when they come in and like that. All right, folks, we're there working on behind the, behind the Sandy Lakes Chiefs. It looks like we got a little bit of a, oh, they're, they're working, you got DL there going into the defense. He's gonna take a shot, oh, there we go. We have a puck stop, it's gonna play, that was a high shot. That was an easy save for uh, Sandy Lake Chiefs. You want to keep those shots kind of low. It's going to create opportunity for you. And uh, it's going to create opportunity for you. And that's what you want. Okay, we got deep. Oh, we got to play into the end zone of Sandy Lake Chiefs. They're going into the corner of the right of the goalie. We got a little check there. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get some physicality going. Let's get the blood flowing. Let's get the uh, adrenaline going here, folks. Let's get going. Let's get the flying here. And that's what they're doing. We have an offside here by 70, 78, folks. Kind of got excited, hey? That happens, right? You go over the edge line, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a, 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 an offside. So, hey, that happens all the time. You just gotta make sure that everybody's on the same page. When you're going in, you all go in, the puck goes in first, and the rest comes in later, all right? That's how that goes. All right, so we got a line up here just in front of the Peter Bountine Cree Nation st Stars box here. We got 86, he's working, he moves it up. Number five has it. Number five, he's looking. He's figuring out where he's going to go. He moves it over to the other defense partner. He's looking again. It, is he going to go up? No, he's going to move up. He's going to pass it to number 17. They break in into the zone. He's in the left hand. He's going, into, he's, going, he's going in around the net. He's looking. He's looking. He's circling. He decides to hold it. Now number 17 has it. Curtis Roach. He's going after it. He's got puck presenting. He shoots up. No, it's still in play in the Peter Ballantyne zone here. Here we go. We got some work going on there. We got a fast-paced hockey game here. We have a we have a little tip there. That's great. Number 14, Warren has it, and he's gonna maybe give it to McCauley. No, he gets toe toe check there, poke checks. Right, 63. Oh, they match up on the skates. That was just accidental. Not a, that wasn't intentional. Referee's got that. We got 75 chasing in between the Peter Bountine Cree Nation. Oh, there was a bit of confusion there. Who had it? Oh, but they recovered. Here we go, folks. They're moving it up. They're getting. Oh, they're gonna try to get it out of the zone. And they haven't, and it's out of the zone now. No, it's not. They're trying, they're trying. Number 21, Morin is working, he's working. We got 39, Sandy Lake Chiefs. He's going, he breaks in. He takes a shot into the corner. He's going to keep it alive. Hopefully somebody will pick it up, go in there. And there we go. Here they're trying to get out of the zone. They're having some difficulty, but they'll get, they'll make sure that uh, they're going to correct it. Here we got Joe Willis, Joe Hicketts. This is the player that plays uh, for a team down in Florida, United States. I got uh, Pensacola Pirates, I believe. Anyways, he's an import. He's a pickup. And the thing was, and the thing was, he's uh, he uh, he he actually got a little bit of time with the farm club with uh, Calgary Flames. Also, the goalie's a Cal Calgary Flame. He attended the camp for the Peter Ballantyne uh, lineup for the goalie. We got Doran. He gets, 
Takes it across. Moves it up. Here we go. I got Peter Ballantyne, number 16. His back pass into number 21. 21 goes. He's getting a little nudge, trying to throw him off. A little bit of poke check. That's exactly what you want. Number Dorian. Dorian has number six. He's dipsy doodling. He's a fast little guy. Oh, we just about, folks. Just about here. Here we got number Joelis. He's keeping it in. He's keeping it alive. He's looking at his ups. He's moving around. We got 17. Curtis Roach. He's moving. We got Cartier. One shot. Here we go. One timer. He missed hit the net, hit the boards, and we got a we got a whistle down and the play is killed over. So folks, come on down, come and watch some great hockey. You're gonna see a, some great action. It's fast pace. You know, these these two teams are hungry. They want Freddie. They want to take home the prize. They want to take home the gold. All right, so here we go right in front of me. We got a puck drop. Mr. Olsen shoots it in. We're into the Sandy Lake Chiefs defenseman. He's coming up. He's looking for options. Here we go. We got 987. He gets poke check. Here we got number Corey Dial. He's being worked on 84. He gets rubbed out. Nothing wrong with that. They're working on it. He gives them a shove. Puck. Oh, here we go. We got Fordham. He's working here. A little bit of stoke. A little bit of body check. Throws him off. Not enough to get the puck. Oh, we got 87. Is there going to be? He takes a shot, and that's easily controlled and get out. Oh, he manages to get it out of there, which is good. We got a nice check in the back. Everybody's okay. 88 has it. He's in the corner. He's going to make a shot. He's going to try to make a play. You got Sandy Lake Chiefs, Sandy Lake's there, and we got stoppers in play, folks. There we go. High tempo game. Come on down. Come and watch some hockey. You're going to have a great time. The tempo is really picked up. We're going to have the women's uh, championship tonight at 8 o'clock here at the Merlis one. Come on down. Uh, John Shabbat uh, played in the NHL. Uh, and now he's uh, calling the game for APTN. Here we got Corey Dial. Oh, a little bit of misread there. They go in. Mr. Olsen comes back. We got 37. Rubs him out. No, not quite enough. 44. He's going back. Oh, they just about scored 33. And then here we go. We got... Oh, they misses net in front of the, the referee there. But he's okay. Uh, here we go. We got puck possession by Peter Ballantyne. They're moving up. There's... There's two of them, one on the right side. Right straight across, we're going to take a shot. Here we go, high into the net. Puck play, stoppage play. That was a good pass. He was going, he was coming down the end on the other side. This one here recognized it. He went over, he took the shot, and then there you go. They had a great opportunity there, and those are the things you want to see. Tic-tac-toe. You can tell the boys are fired up on the bench. Both benches are standing up slightly. They're getting ready to jump out if need be. We'll get some extra gas out there with extra players with extra wheels. Here we go. We got number 80. He misplays it. There's the ice here is a bit choppy, so it bounces. Oh, we got number 88. He's up in the middle. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, we got Joe Hickens. He's got control. He's deciding where to go. He's going to take some pressure off. Move it up here. We got a two and one, two on three, three on two. Excuse me. Oh, we got a little bit of miscommunication there. No problem. That happens all the time. They just got to regroup and get in there and do it again. All right, here we go. We got Sandy Lake coming out, breaking out. He's coming up. He's looking for options. Number 41. He's looking left and right. No, he does the dipsy doodle. He's going in. He's decided, hey, you know what? Maybe he lost the puck. Like I said, I always keep saying, if you're if you're holding on to that puck any longer than, say, 10 seconds, that's way too long. All right? You're going to lose it. Get it out of your stick. Pass it on. Let other pe people take that puck. All right? Here we go. We got Joe Hicketts coming up the middle. He decides to flip it. It's a misplay. No problem, but it's still out. He's flying out there, Joe Hicketts, number 29. Though he has the name Joe Dumas, or Joe, uh, Dumas, that is not his name. Those are just jerseys that have names on there. Given. Here we got number 16 coming in, flying off, and he scores. No, he doesn't. Oh, they missed the net here. Sorry. Even I got deceived by that play. That's how fast that is. Okay, folks, we have a long shot. Just about 75 walked in, and there was going to be a long pass. Oh, they decide Mr. Dorn looks around. Okay, what are the options? He shoots it back into the zone. Here we got number 88, number, who do we got here? Oh, number 39, shoots at number 75. He's got some jets on. He poke checks it. That's what you need to do, little poke checks like that. We'll throw them off. If he would have had the puck, he probably would have wrapped around, and who knows, he got an open defenseman. Here we go, we got a whistle here, folks. No worries. The passes are fast, they're crisp, they're hard, and you can see that's just one, one example, one example of uh, a hard pass, and they weren't able to, uh, the timing was off. But again, it was it was meant to be uh, retrieved. So here we go, folks. We have a drop off in the Sandy Lake Chiefs. Sandy Lake Chiefs. Had, no, no, we got puck possession. Peter Bound behind the net. Number three, Mr. Mich Cody Michel, I believe, is his name. Let me check the list here. I'm looking at it. Yes, that's what we have here. So we're gonna look. We're gonna continue. Cody Michel, that's his name. Here we go. We got a backhand pass. 
Here we got a little wrist shot. Oh, just about, folks. The, the puck does not have to be going fast. As long as it's going towards the net, you can do a little uh, tip play. Uh, for, you know, just little things like that will uh, redirect that puck. And, uh, again, you may have some uh, pinball going on there for you. Here we go. They got three and two coming out. We got a trailer, Mr. Olsen. He's going on the other side. They're looking for a trailer. No, nope. number eight has it. Poke check. No, nope. here we go. That was a good save by the goalie from Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation. Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation. We have four imports, folks, for the Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation. We have Bryce Gervais, an import. We have Curtis Rhodes, an excellent Flan Bomber, SJ Scheller. We have Joe Hicketts. He plays in, I believe, in the East Coast Hockey League with the Florida Pensacola Pirates out in the United States of America. And he's decided to come and showcase his talent up here with Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation Stars. We also have another import by the name of Leland Irvin, originally from La Ronge, but he's made his way out and now he's come back and he's decided to come play for Peter Ballantyne and come take the trophy home for the Freddie Sasakamoose Proud and business tournament, folks. Here we go. We got puck possession. We got Peter Ballantyne. He's going back. He decides to move it over, get out of trouble. They're going back and forth. We got 80, 96. Oh, he decides to chip it in. That's not the case. Oh, we got puck possession. Sandy Lake. Sandy Lake's coming up. They're moving up on the side as they're going on. Oh, another number 51. They're going to move. No, nope. little bit, a little tussle going on. It looks like they're having a council meeting there. No, nope. they decided the issues were not going to be resolved. So let's let's get out of here and let's take this puck. And we're going to do our own. Oh, we got 87, 88 coming around the back end. Here we go. 88. We got 87 and 87. Nope, 80. Who is that? Number 78. Here we go. He takes a shot wide. He was aiming for the left hand cor right hand corner of the goalie. And there's another shot. That just about uh, pinball there. He just about got caught, but uh, saved by uh, it just didn't happen that time. So, again, here he's. Let's go, boys. Here we go. We got to keep moving here. Here we go. Keep the legs moving here. We got Roach coming. He toe drags. He pulls it in. He's coming up on the left hand side. He's wondering who's got some trailers. He knows he has trailers because that's how they play. These guys are professionals, right? They practice all their lives during the winter too. All right, they play in semi-professional leagues. These guys, they're professionals. They get played. To pay. They get paid money to play hockey. They have the skill set. So it's good to see them have come here. I see the Peter Ballantyne bench, they're looking at each other. They're wondering, okay, boys, it's like they're giving a pep talk. I'm also looking at the Sandy Lake Chiefs. It looks like they're doing a pep talk, too. And that's what you want to see. You want to fire up the troops here. All right, here we go. We got a puck shock. We got two. We got Sandy Lake Chiefs, I believe, number 70, dropping it to the defense. He's looking for options, number 41. Then he goes up the middle. Then 78, lose it. Oh, 83 has it. There we go. He oh, just about losing as he recovers 83. He's going to pass back to 83. 83 is looking. Where is he going to do? He's going to go straight across. No, nope, he's getting pressured. Oh, Peter Ballantyne got the puck out of We got number, oh, we got Peter Ballantyne, number 19. Here we got a saucer pass. Not quite. And oh, just about there. There, It's coming. It's going to come. Here we got one-on-one. -on -one. We got Mr. Willis coming back, checking. He's looking. There's nobody behind. So it's basically, oh, he loses an edge. That just happens, folks. All right, here we go. We got Joe Hicketts coming in. He's flying. He's oh, he's gonna move it over. He's gonna take a shot. No, he's gonna. They're gonna continue. They're gonna play. Here we go. Bring it out on the out. Create that circle. Get it to the. Get it to the defenseman and create that shot. Here we go. Here we go. Joe Hicketts again is coming around the corner. He's looking up. He's decided. Oh, he's doing a little dipsy left to the right. He gets hit. He gets thrown off. Oh, just oh, they just a little mistake like that. Oh wow! I tell you what. The goalie just saved Mr. Willits, all right? He just saved the hide of Mr. Willits. And those are the type of players as a goalie you want because those are the ones that are going to take you to the ship. Here, we're going to be ending first period. It's a fast game, folks. I'm going to be coming off here pretty quick here, but we're going to let the time run out. The buzzer's going to go right now, as I said. And, like, we're going to take a two-minute break here. The boys are going to rest up. They're going to recuperate. They're going to strategize. They're going to bring out the board. They're going to regroup. They're going to readjust, and they're going to be ready for the second period. Okay, folks, I'll be coming right back. Talk to you later.
All right, folks, good afternoon. We're back at the Merlis 2 here. The boys are resting up. They're getting their first intermission here. I wouldn't say intermission, but their first period's out. They get a two-minute break. They get to recoup. They get to regenerate. They get to readjust and come out in the second period, come out flying. It's fast flying. It's a 0-0. There's nobody has scored. We had a couple chances. We had a couple open netters. The, both goalies flashed the cowhide, and uh, they stopped the goal from going in. That's a big save. We just had a big save here from Peter Ballantyne here. And uh, if that would have been, who knows, that could have been the game right there. You can win only by one goal, so it's a very tight game. And uh, they're uh, playing smart hockey out here. And uh, that's what we like to see. We have raw talent coming out here. And we have players that are, that are just talented. Come on out and come see some of this raw talent that we have showcasing. Proud Indigenous players. Come and don the colors of their community and their family name. And here we go. We got a puck drop. We got it into the zone of the Sandy Lake Chiefs. We got number five. He's going in. Number five, he stops behind the net. He's going to wait. He's looking. Where do we have? Where do I go? He's going to go up on the right-hand side, the 88. He hits it off. The, and we got a little tip. We got 75 coming. We have someone 21. He, oh, he, oh, nice play. That's exact. That's a good example of what I was telling you, where you're going to use the extension of that stick and use that and... and you know, that's exactly what I was telling you. And it works, right? It's, it, it's, it's not rocket science. It's basic one-on-one hockey. Here we go, folks. You drill that into your hockey players at a very young age. There, I, I'm still a remember that's basic hockey. And it's not rocket science, all right? So those are just the basics. We have a high stick. No, he calls it off below the shoulders. We got Sandy Lake Chiefs. They're coming in. They, they lose possession. They're, they're battling. They're battling on the side. It comes up. It's out of the zone. They're out of the shove. They're going into the regroup. We got number eight defense. He's looking around. The players, oh, he misses it. Number 19. There's a two on and three on one. Are they going to capitalize? No, they're not going to capitalize on this shot. Seems like a bit of a, a flex stick on it. Didn't really get enough on that, on that puck there. So they're going to get a chance here. He's going to heads up play. He's going to force him on the outside. Again, this is contact hockey. I'm not sure why they're not hitting the body. Right, so here we go, folks. Uh, maybe they need, maybe they need to be reminded here. You know, one big hit will throw everybody off. So, you know, maybe uh, here we go up, up the middle. Oh, hits the stake. Hey, that was a good. We got Dial, DL, 84 goes to DL. They're they're setting up just about Mr. McCall. Just about got number 11. He. Here we go. That was a nice stick left there. Okay, here we go. Now we got three on two. Sandy Lake. They're breaking. Up. He decides to take a direct shot. The goalie shoots it into the corner. We got 78. He keeps it alive. No, it's still in the zone. They want to keep it out. Get everybody out. Refer Here we go. We got 78 going in. He's flying. He's going. He's looking. Where do I go? What do I do? Force him out, guys. Force him out. Force the player. That's what you want to do. We got 83 into the... Goes back into the zone. We got 39. He's waiting. What's he going to do? Is he going to flip over? Is he going to do the Michigan? No, he's not. I've seen the Michigan attempted today by Sage Strong and it was a nice here we go we got 78 they better get a they get a get better get a puck freeze here stop us in play get a reset here working them they're working them you got you got Mr. Willis doing what he needs to do and that is complete the job and get the puck out of the player all right he's done his job now all oh, we have a slight probably around two feet but I'd like to say my hats off to Mr. Joe Willis and uh, the way he's playing is unbelievable he lost the puck, but he was able to retrieve it and work the guy and cause some disruption. Nonetheless, hey, he's doing his job. So we're still sitting at 0-0, and the game is tight here. So come on down. Come and watch some hockey here. Great hockey. We have a good hockey game going on next door. Canoe Lake with against the Nunavut. So they're, uh, they're going at it right now. That, that winner of that game moves up the ladder. The, next, the, ne the loser of that game goes home. All right, folks, here we are to get shot into the Pelican Arrows end zone here. They're looking, 30s looking. He dipsy doodles, Joe Willis. He does it again. Here we go. I like that player because he's very articulate on his edge. Were, oh, he just about, just about got caught off guard. I was telling you before, once you get that puck, just shoot it towards the net. It doesn't even have to be. It may, something may happen for you. The hockey gods are out, folks. Here we go. We got 40, 14. He's working. He's putting pressure. He gives them a little bit of jolt. Try to throw him off. That doesn't help. We, oh, he fans the puck. 88. They're going to put pressure on. There we go. We may see a turnover. No, we don't. We got to switch up with players. We got some players with, with some gas in. They're going to empty the tank. They went over to the Petro on 20 sec, 22nd and used the treaty guard and they filled up the tank. They're ready to go. We're on the ice. We're going across. Oh, Joe. We got 
Joe, no, uh, yeah, Curtis Roach, excuse me. We got Mr. Clark here. We got Mr. Morin. Oh, 21. Just about got knee there. They got to be careful about that. You may get ejected. What do we have here? We have a, we have a, we have a, 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 a offside call here. Hey, and that's a very good call. We got four referees here, and that's what you want. You want four eyeballs. You want one referee on each line, and then you got two referees looking on each end, making sure no funny stuff goes on. We want to keep it clean and make sure the game is going very well here. Very well controlled. Referees are allowing them to play. That's what you want. Everything goes here. We got a two-on-one. Do we have a back checker? Yes, we do. Number 16. No. Oh, he misplays that. We got a back checker. He gets hit. There we go. We got a little bit of elbow going on here, but there's no penalty. Here we got Joe Curtis Roach. I'm not sure why I'm saying Joe, but anyways, Curtis Roach it is. Here we got in front of the Sandy Lake Chiefs. It's a back pass, Sandy Lake. They're going up two and one. We have a trailer. We've got three and one. We got a back pass, 39. We have number eight on high on defense. He decides to shoot up. They go straight up again. Now we have three on. Oh, here we go. We got Joe Willits again. Joe Hick. Joe Hicketts is the name. Here we got 75 going into the zone. They're into the Peter. Oh, they're into the Sandy Lake. They can't seem to get it out. Peter Ballantyne's putting on some pressure. Here, here we go. It's moved up the middle. 75 has it. He's going to, okay, he's going to do the toe drag. That doesn't work. Oh, he does. Oh, just about. It comes out to number 41. He's going to take the shot. Maybe a little bit of pinball. They got lucky on that one, folks. You got to be careful. They got to play some smart. Very tight hockey. Little any kind of mistakes that you're going to cost you the game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Great play. Get it out. Let's regroup. Let's get a change up here, boys. Both teams, yeah, we got Peter Ballantyne. We got one D there changing up. Here we go. We got Curtis back on, on D here. He's going to do his work. He's going to, oh, he gets a shot into the knee. Then the Peter Ballantyne goalie freezes the puck, folks. Freezes the puck. All right, here they get the reset. We're looking at 850 right now. We're looking at 0 0. Nobody has scored. We've had a couple close calls, but nothing too serious. But I'm telling you, the chances are coming left and right and fast and furious. All right, we got a puck drop here on. The right-hand side of Peter Valentine. We have Curtis Roach there. He's going to do a poke check. No, he's working him. He's going to push him. No, it doesn't do nothing. That doesn't. Oh, we have a player in front there. They got to watch that. There we go. We have Curtis Roach. He's going in. We got Mr. McCollum. Who's going to get the puck? Gives him a little bump. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, one-timer. That was fanned. Here we go. We got Peter Valentine coming up. We got number 86, McCauley. McCauley takes it. He's getting a whack. He's getting worked over. He's got to let go of that puck. And that's exactly what happens. When you have that puck any more than 10 seconds, that's the prime example of what's going to happen. Get that puck off your stick. More, any, not any more than 10 seconds here. Common sense, folks. Just a little uh, advice from an uh, ex-junior A hockey player. Here you go, Fox. Here we go. We got 78. It's fast and furious. Here we go. Up the middle. Oh, just about, uh, just about got it here, but it was no go on that one. We got McCollum coming up. He's right down below me. He's skating. He's... He's working. Oh, poke check. A lot of poke checks and very effective, right? Number 83 has it. 83 is looking up. He's deciding, okay, I'm going to put it up to my partner. He's moving up. He does the head bobble. Fakes play. 30, 87. He's weaving. He's going around. He's going to go for a skate. Here we go. We got Curtis Roach. They're going up. Ooh, just about a breakaway. And that uh, was a set play. Here we go. They're set 16. The pressure's on. Here we go. Just about. Peter Ballantyne's putting on the pressure here. They're going fast and furious, like I said. Gives them a bump. Throws them off. That's what you want. We have Peter Ballantyne. Number goes right straight across. We got number 19, Clark. Is he going to go Joe Willis? No, he's going to go to 21. 21 goes here. He takes a shot. Shoots around the net. Hits the referee again. Wow. Like I said, you know, I'm sure there, some of those referees have seen more rubber than the, than the goalie. From what my observations have been. Ooh, just about a nice shot there. A little deflection from the... Oh, he's, he's backing up. He's backing up. Upstairs, nothing. Come on, boys. A little bit of pressure. Let's get it out. Oh, he's going to be smart about it. Number five. They're looking up. He goes to the sideboard. The Corey Doyle has it. He's going up 84. He's on. The, he's going to take a shot, and he does. Oh, the puck is loose. Oh, they're going to do... Oh, shoots it in. Keeps it alive. No. Now we have a foot race. Mr. Jody... He's going to... Oh, Oh, nice, nice. All right, there you go again. You have the goalie saving the day. We have a hot goalie here, folks. 
He's looking like plus 35, that hot out there, I'm telling you. He's sweating. Not only that, he's looking good. He's keeping up the angles. He's cutting out the angles. He's coming out, making sure those shooters have nothing to shoot at. All right, that's a smart goalie. He knows his angles. He knows his positional play. And there we go, a nice low shot. He grabs it with the cow leather, left-hand glove. All right, so I'd like to be a big shout-out to the people out in Pelican Arrows, Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation Land, Sandy Bay, Pelican Arrows, DeChambeau, uh, Sturgeon Landing. And uh, right now we're going through some uh, difficulties with forest fires. Uh, people are getting, the community, community of uh, uh, DeChambeau just got uh, evacuated last night. So they're in PA, they're being shipped to Saskatoon. So everything's being working out. So again, uh, lots of forest fires and uh, everything. We're going to get back to that normalcy again. It's just the way it is. Okay, here we go. We got 84 going straight across. Oh, nice play. Tic-tac-toe. There we go. We got a little bit of a jab there. I thought he was trying to... Uh, it looked like a... Okay, that's okay. Uh, there was no penalty. We got 21. Here we go. A little poke check. Oh, Curtis. Oh, he takes the body. That's exactly what you want is the body. All right. Use your arms also. Use your stick. All right. When you're coming down like that, that's a good example of one-on-one -on -one hockey defensive skills. He also used his stick, but he also used his hand, and he pushed it in the chest of the player just to throw him off, and that's all he did. Here we go, got a shot. Oh, nice shot, just about 21. Oh, we are wondering where it is. Oh, where are they going? No, nope. oh, take your time. Where are we going? Look up. Look at your options. Here we go. We got, look, seven. Here we go. They're moving. They're moving around. Here we go. All right, we got... Joe Hicketts again, he has puck possession, We're going up to Curtis Roach, they're flying up, they're breaking in the zone, we got 14 and 7 in, they're moving around, they're, they're going to be uh, figuring out how we're going to get that biscuit in the twine, right now they're fast and furious, and that's what you want, here we go folks, coming up, oh, and that looks like, do we have a tip, nope, that was, that was, that was an icing, that would have been tipped, that would have been called off, but it, it's a nice one. So now we have, we have, uh, now we have uh, puck possession here with uh, Sandy Lake Chiefs behind the net. He's being chased by Peter Ballantyne. Pressure's on. Here we go. We got a whistle here. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Uh, when you want to do that, you want to hit it on the side of the, on the side of the boards. Because if you go up the middle, you're going to get a whistle. I see, and now they're going to go back. Peter Ballantyne has a perfect opportunity, all right? So in those in those situations, you want to flip the puck over the blue line. Everybody comes out, reset, readjust, do it all over again. All right, here we go. Every time you get a, every time you get a, a face off, everybody gets to reset and readjust, right? Every time. Here we go. Number 19 working. He's going. He gets a little bump. He gets rubbed out. That's a good little play by Sandy Lake Chiefs. All you got to do is you don't have to hit him hard. You just got to throw him off, folks. All right, here we go. We got... Three, three, Sandy Lake coming in. They're coming in the zone. We have, oh, oh, looks like there's a little miscommunication there. There we go. Joe Hicketts coming up. Oh, he's waiting. He's looking for an angle. He's looking around. There may be a change. Of, no, he's coming up to Mr. Moran, 21. That was misplayed. We're looking at 220, zero, zero, folks. Come on down. Come watch this great hockey. It's fast, I'm telling you. We, oh, we got a, oh, misses misplay. We have 21. Morin and he he's trying to do a stick check. We got Joe Hicketts here, number 29. Even though the name is Dumais, his name is Joe Hicketts. Here we got Mr. Cody Michelle. He gets hip checked into the boards. He still keeps it alive. Oh, here we go. We got one on three. We got 75. Here comes the poke checks, guys. Rush him. All right. Choke the middle up. Here we go. Do some side checks. You're letting him go. Here we go. Nice shot. See, there you go. 92. Here we go, folks. Straight up. The transition is going opposite direction. Going in the Sandy Lake Chiefs, we got 92. He keeps it alive, he's got it. Here we go, a misplay, not a problem. Here we go, defense moves it over. Oh, we got Cody Michelle, he's got possession. He shoots it in. Oh, he's working the Sandy Lake player. Not enough pressure, there got, here it comes up in between, you got three of them, two of them breaking in. We got 75, he's gonna do a one-timer. And it goes into the net. Shots like that, the goalie will use the, will use the block, and use the block, he'll go into the net. And then that's a stop and play. Those that that goalie knows exactly what needs to be done. Uh, 
let's take a break. And like I always say, every time you take a break in the penalty, you're not a penalty, but a, uh, uh, how would you say, a face-off, it gives you time to readjust. All right? Though, there, though they may be a few seconds, hey, you don't need... You don't need very much time to adjust. You do your thinking. You adjust accordingly. Next next puck drop, you go. All right, here we go. We got defenseman number 14. He's 13. He's looking around. He's wondering what he's going to do. He's going to shoot it around. Off it goes into the... All right, here we go. We got 75. 13 shoots. We got Joe... No, Joe. We Curtis Roach. Excuse me. If I say Joe, he's Joe. All right? If I say Curtis, he's Curtis. All right, here we go, folks. Here we go. We got number who? Who do we got number C? He's flying the jerseys, fluttering. Then we got a shot. And we got a goal. No, we don't, folks. We do not have a goal. We do not have a goal. They've come back. We got a... Oh, wow. Unbelievable. That was a good play, folks. Unbelievable. They had an open net, and they missed the opportunity. That was such a golden opportunity. That was just a few seconds in between the second period, the first period. And if they would have scored, they would have went up one. And that's a huge boost. All right, folks, we're going to take a, a minute and a half break here. We're going to be coming right back. We're going to be calling this game. It's exciting. It looks like the coaches, they're adjusting. They're telling the players, hey, watch out, do this. All right, folks, I'm going to take a 90-second break, and I'll be right back, and I'll talk to you later. All right, folks, good afternoon here. We're at the Merlin's Bel uh, Belcher uh, Arena in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. We're on right, uh, right on Idlewild, right across, right beside the football field. If you're not sure where to go, we're at the University campus right across on Idlewild. So there you go. It's just right off, off Preston. Come in there. we got lots of parking there for lots of people on the other side. So come on in. Come on in. They're selling merchandise. I went up there. I uh, managed to grab a couple of hoodies. Uh, you know, money well spent, let's put it that way, and uh, it all goes to a good cause, right? So go get your merchandise while you can because it's going fast, right? It's going, it's going just as quick as fried bannock coming off the burner. All right, folks, here we go. We're getting ready to drop the puck third period. The boys are ready. Here we go. And the puck is dropped. It's going back to Joe Hicketts from the Pierre Ballantyne. Green Nation Stars. He, got, he passes over to his friend. Oh, Joe has it again. Here we go. No, nope, he, he misfires that. And then what we have here, it, we got puck play. We got puck possession. Peter Bounty moves it up to number 40, number 16, 16, 21. Has, moves it up just about. Oh, we have a back pass. We have, we have uh, Sandy Lake coming up. We got 75. They got to move the body. They got to, you know, uh, hit the body here. So those are one of the things that needs to be done. So, you know, uh, here we got 16. He takes a shot, just about a rebound. And here we go, folks. Here we go, folks. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming, here we go. Oh. Yep, there you go, folks. That's what happens. And, uh, uh, you know, and uh, shots like that. All right, folks, here we go. We've got Peter Ballantyne into the Sand Lake Chiefs. Sand Lake Chiefs defenseman has up. We're moving up into the entry zone, into the neutral zone, excuse me. Here we got Cody Michel. He's got the Jets on. He's going to fire it up around. We got the goalie. He didn't corral that. There it goes right up. It goes in. Oh, they're keeping it in. That's exactly what you want to do is keep it in. We have a bounce here. No, we're not going to have a lucky bounce today. Goes up against the boards. What we have, we've got Joe Hicketts here coming in on the side. And he's doing his thing. He's weaving back and forth. He's trying to deceive the player. We got number eight. Oh, we got 
Just about here. We got Joe Higgins again here. He's looking. He's going to pass it up. The number. He's going to pass over. You got to make sure those passes are uh, are crisp and, and and to the target, right? Because if you don't, if you found a pass, that may cause uh, a breakaway up up through the middle. That just about happened there. All right, folks. We got number 87 here, and he he gets poke checked. That was not successful. He's flying. He shoots it in. He's chasing it. We got Curtis Roach trying to hit the bat. The puck down. We've got some air time there. Here we go, folks. We got number 86. He's flying. Oh, he decides to flip it up. Not wrong with that. Let's throw the Jets on. Who's got more speed? All right, here we go. Here we go. Sandy Lake won, won the race on that one. They're going to go straight across. Number 78 misses it. Goes up the middle. 14. 14 has it. Oh, they're going to come out of the zone. They're good. Oh, he gets. He misses a check. He keeps it alive. I love that kind of hockey. You never say die on that puck. Here you go. Here you go, Destro. Oh, he gets a little hit. Nothing wrong with that. That's a clean check. You know, that's exactly what you want is clean hits. So that being said, there you go. The hits are coming out. Then we have a, oh, just about a goal there. Folks, it's moving. It's moving. Something's going to happen here. Something's going to happen. Here we go, folks. Then Mr. Roach. Oh, yeah. There you go, folks. Hey, what did I tell you? As long as you, what did I tell you? As long as you, uh, again, uh, as long as you get those shots in, you're going to be fine, folks. All right, there you go. That's a good example. Curtis Schultz got the puck. All he did, it wasn't a, a shot. He just shot it towards the net, and I tell you, good things happen. All right, good things happen. That's a good example. 101 hockey. You know, it doesn't have to be a perfect shot. All right, it doesn't have to be. So what you want to do, that puck will bounce around just like a ball. All right, you've got to know that. So, you know, that puck, that, that puck does funny things. All right, so here we go. We got Peter Bound. Another check. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. They're throwing them off the game. Little checks. Here we go. And uh, here we go. So, Curtis Roach scores. Oh. Here we go, folks. Oh, we got a cross check. Oh, we got puck possession in the corner. They're trying to move the puck. They're working. They're trying to get get it loose. Here we go. Here we go, folks. And it's coming. And it comes out. And here we go, folks. And we have a puck stoppage in play. And we got Sandy Lake here coming along here. So here we go, folks. Just so you know, hockey is great sport. It's exciting. The emotions get high. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Come and see some great hockey. All right, here we go. The body's being laid around. I was wondering when that was going to show up because this is a contact tournament. It didn't say recreation, right? And I was wondering when the body's going to start flying. It seems like that's what they're doing. And you see the, the tempo is actually being changed here. Oh, he comes in the middle. 16. Oh, nice. Upstairs. They're going high. They must recognize something that the goalie go down. He goes down early. I'm going to see if that what happens because I'm looking at that. I'm going to see if he has a deficit there. And he tends to do that. I see that right now. He's, a, he's, a, he's gone down on. He's gone down low. So he got two uh, targets left and right in the corners. So I think the Peter Bountine coaches have picked that up. Here we go. We're coming. Number eight. Oh, we got pressure. We got a little mishap, misplay. We're waiting for a trailer. He's waiting. He's being, he's being patient. Here we go. We got Curtis Roach again. He throws it and keeps it alive. The boys are in there. They're hungry. They're, they're efficient. They're going after it. Here we go. They're moving around. They're cycling. They're battling. They're going up. They're battling. They're moving it up. Here we go. We got Sandy. Little, oh, he misses the body. He manages to recover. Here we go. One knee guy. Here we go. Nothing wrong. That's a good effort. Good effort, folks. Good effort. Here we go. We got 84 coming. And he's moving up. He's coming up. He gives it up to number. Who is this? Mr. Olsen. Mr. Olsen. Mr. Olsen. Let me look. We've got... We got Skyler Olsen, I believe, from South End, Saskatchewan. Oh, they're moving the puck around. They're buzzing around like bees. Amu and bee. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go. And they're moving it up there. Oh, we got Corey Adele. He decides to make sure the other player has another shot. The shot's taken. Corey has it. Moves it into the corner. All of a sudden, it's coming out. Then we have a puck. Now they're moving up. We got three coming up. Sandy Lake Chiefs, you got three. They're entering the zone. They're all good. Nobody comes in offside, which is good. You want to keep the tempo going. We got right, the, right behind Peter Ballantyne. We got number 91. Who is this? Who's coming up? He's got the Jets on. Number nine. We got Mr. Clark, number nine. 
Mr. Clark. I think that may be Caden Clark. South end. We have a mishap here. Mr. Doran. Oh, we have a little hit here. The goalie had some pressure there. He shot out. The Peter Valentine just about got a shot off. So the pressures, you'll notice the hits are coming now. All right. As soon as you get the hits, they're going to cough up that puck. And that's what she wants. So here we go. Now we're seeing some real hockey. I, again, I thought it was senior. But I, I was wrong. I'm starting to see some contact. And that's what I want to see. Here we got number five. He beats them. He beats, he beats, he beats, he beats, yeah, excuse me. He wins the race on that one. And then the puck is shot down. And we have an icing here. So nothing wrong with that. Like I said, when you got pressure like that, you're going to notice the players are going to be copping off the puck. And those are opportunities. All right? Opportunities. You don't get them often. And when they come in front of you, in front of you, you take it. And you make sure because you only get one shot. Here we go, folks. Into the pier bound time Cree Nation. Uh, just to the left of the goalie. He's, where he's playing good. Here we got a pass into the defense. He fans it. Wow. Okay, a lot of fanning going on. Mind you, there are fans. Anyways, no pun intended. Here we go, folks. We got Mr. McCollum, number seven. He does try to do a little poke check. Number 39. 39 has it. And they're keeping it alive into the corner. They're, keep, they're jostling. They're fighting. They're... Doing what needs to be done in the corner. It's called grind work, right? Here we go. Where we go, folks? Here we're going up to Mr. Joe. He's coming on the side. He stops. He's waiting for the other recruits. It goes right straight across, and it misses the... Oh, just about a misplay read there. That was lucky, folks. They got lucky on that one there. All right, they're going to readjust, regroup. You're always doing that. You're always readjusting and regrouping the game of hockey, folks, all the time. You're never going to play the same game, same mindset. It doesn't work that way. You gotta change up your systems and your breakout plays and all that. You have to be articulate. You gotta have a lot of feathers in the cap. All right, here we go. We got Mr. Clark. I think it's Kaden Clark here. We got, who is this, number 16? Number 16 loses the puck. All of a sudden, now we have Sandy Lake Chiefs who are now gonna move it up. Number 75 has shot off the board. They got puck possession here. We got Curtis Rhodes. He bats it out. All of a sudden, now we got puck possession. Pierre Ballantyne. Peter Ballantyne's coming on the left side, left flank. Here we got Cody. Oh, Mr. Monday. Little, a little poke check. That's all. There we go. That was. There we go. Here we got Mr. Olsen. What's he going to do? He's getting worked over. The pressure's on. He coughs it up. Mr. Who? Okay, we got Cody Michelle. He shoots it up. No, he's going to give it to Mr. Olsen. He's working it. They got two of them. He's going to dipsy doodle. And they got worked on by two. You see the puck bounce. The ice is chipped. Is very chewed up. He rubs them out. Not a big hit. You don't need to do that. You just need to throw them off a bit. Here we go. We got Curtis Rose around the corner. We got 84. Dial. He keeps. He gets a little bit of a, a hit. Not a problem. Again, I've always said. I've always said the last couple games in this tournament here. You know, there's nothing wrong with girth to girth contact. All right. I'd rather have that. It's. Uh, you know what I mean? A little bit more rebound there. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to the game here. And uh, here we go. We got number 86, McCauley. He's deciding, okay, he's getting worked on. He throws it up the middle. There was nobody there. But who do we have here? We have, oh, Mr. Doran. They got to come out. Nope. It is icing. All right. So Mr. McCauley, they're battling here. Here they're battling. There. Oh, little poke check. Those are the effective little things that you need to do. You know, there you go. And that's a good example. Just watch what they're doing. And those are the basics, right? You get that drilled into your... Oh, we got Mr. Mr. Robbie Custer from Pelican Arrows. Here we go, Mr. Warren, number 14. Let's go, Robbie. Here we go, number 77. He's waiting for the puck. All right, Robbie, let's go there, buddy. Here we go. He's waiting for it. He's looking for it. He's up the middle. He's, he's waiting for that pass to come up. He can pick it off. Here we go. We got number 87. He flies. He fans the puck. Robbie's in there. He gives him a little nudge. That's exactly what you want. Throw him off, folks. Throw him off. Here we go. Both teams are battling on both ends. They're playing very smart hockey. The, the tempo is definitely sped up here. We've got a little bit of physicality. Physicality is what you want in a game. That's what mixes it up and makes it more interesting. And it actually spices up the game, folks. All right, here we go. Here we go. we got 78. He's coming up by, all by himself. One on four. All right, here we go. Mr. Cody, he's going to move it up. Oh, he's going to give it to who else? Oh, he's going to move around. He's going to check. He's going to readjust. He's going behind the net. Who's open here? This is where you got to have the, uh, your players moving around so you can get that puck. Oh, here we go. They're still alive. Oh, Mr. Warren here. We got 16. That is offside. And uh, no problem. 
Hey, sometimes uh, you get an offside, it gives you both players to adjust. And uh, I've always keep saying that word adjust because you're always doing that as a player, right? You're changing your game. I know I may sound rhetorical, but again, when you have a coach that's going to always do that, that's going to be drilled into your noggin. And you remember that when the time comes in, when you're in the action, when you have the puck possession, when you're playing in front of people, right? You take, you're, you're making second, second, second by second decisions. And those decisions do cost. And you got to make sure they're smart. All of a sudden, we got 88 coming in, going into the zone. He breaks in. He takes a shot high. And then, of course, you got the Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation. Stars goalie flashing the cow high. God. All right, that's not me. Good, good thing. All right, let's go back to the game. We're showing 734. one nothing for Peter Ballantyne. A shot from... Curtis Roach. Okay, folks, here we go. We got 724. The time is running down. The pressure's on. Here we go. The the, the hockey hockey game is gonna go up. Here we got. Here we go. The temperature's gonna be going up here. Here we go. We got 84. Corey, he forces. Off we go. And then we got 41. 41 is gonna pick up. Here we go. Oh, are we gonna dipsy doodle here? Oh, little hey. Here we go. You'll see Curtis Roach. Instead of worrying about the puck, he's worrying about number 80. Oh, they had an open net there. They did not capitalize. That's oh, we'll go. Here we go. Back to the point. They have another chance. They go straight across. They're moving around the puck. 39 takes a shot. Nope. Here we go. Still alive. Still in the right behind the net. You got to keep moving, boys. Let's keep the legs going. Both teams, here we go. Take a shot. Again, a little bit of pinball can happen there. You take shots like that, whether if it's not directly towards the goal, if it's on the side, do it. Hockey gods are out, folks. We got number 39. He's putting on the desk. He's looking. Oh, he misplays it. There's a little bit of confusion there. Oh, back to 21. Sandy Lake has it. He, he, oh, we got 93. Back and forth. There's a lot of action here in between the neutral zone, folks. It seems there's more play there versus on both ends here, but that's okay. It's exciting hockey. That's the main thing. We got a little poke check here. We have another poke check here. Not quite enough outside the blue lane to cause a reset here for other players to come up. Here we go. We got a stop shot. Nope. That's not hard enough. Shots like that, you don't want them on the ground. I mean on the ice. You want it off the ice. You want to create an opportunity, right? Here we go. We got a <coughs> stick broken here. It's only $300, folks. Not a problem. We got the Chiefs and Council supporting their teams, giving out the cash, the travel checks. Here we go, folks. We got a, we're coming around the corner. Never mind the travel checks. We're playing hockey here. Let's not. Hey, we got 97 coming around. He's going to shoot. No, he dips, he doodles. He gets manhandled, and he gets snuffed out by Joe. Oh, by the defenseman, excuse me. Oh, that's Joe Hicketts, excuse me. He's out there. He's just flying around, folks. And he's making his mark there. He's doing damage. All right, here we go. Create, oh, we got a. Oh, nice. Oh, just a little. You know what I mean? That type of stuff happens. No worries. No worries. Oh, we got somebody trailing him. They got to do the little, they got to hit the body. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, he's going to cut in. Oh, all right. Okay, are we going to see a penalty shot? Are we going to see a penalty shot? No, no penalty shot. Again, I'm not the guy who's wearing the stripes with the red stripes on both, but I would have called that a penalty shot. Wow. But hey. I don't make those judgments calls. Those are just opinions. Sometimes opinions don't matter. It's just an opinion, folks. All right. All right. Here we go. We're looking at 4:58. Last five minutes. Five minutes. Stop time for this exciting hockey game. Come on, be a part of it. Come and witness this stuff. It's a real excellent hockey. Here we got Joe Hicketts coming up the middle. He he dropped pass. Now we're coming in with some speed. That's an NHL set play. They move up with speed. Here we go again. Here we go. They're moving up. He's got to get some. He's got to come. Oh, here we go. We got a hit here. No problem. What do we got here? Everything seems to be okay. Is he hurt? No, folks. <laughs> no, he's okay. He's okay. That's a good thing. It looked like they went in head first, but that's not the case. You know, it's a good thing. You got a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of extra, uh, I would just say, cellu uh, you know, a little bit of extra weight. Let's put it that way. Right, folks? Nothing wrong with that. That's called protection. All right, folks, let's go here. We're going to drop the puck here. We have a change up here with Sandy Lake. They'll, we have a broken stick. They're, they're now it's five on four. Puck goes over. Puck goes over. Peter, the goalie, carouses it, passes it over 
to Joe Hicketts. Joe Hicketts has a hard time with that pass. He's going to try to retrieve it. He's going to try to get it back. There's two of them now. There's three Peter Bowen, two Sandler. They managed to break it out. Joe, Joe, uh, Joe, uh, Curtis Roach. Here we have number 16. What's he going to do? He's going to dipsy doodle. He was going to do the backhand up top right hand corner. He was going to do a Sidney Crosby move. He was going to try to hit that water bottle. Folks, oh, there we got some effort here. He's going to step off the ice here. He's going to. He's going to go take the treaty card out. He's going to head down to the 22nd. He's going to fill up the gas tank. Treaty gas. Discount gas. He's filling up right now. We got other players there. They're all filled up, ready to go. They've used their treaty card. They're ready to go. They're ready to empty the tank, folks. They're ready to empty the tank. Here we go. We got a little bit of battle, a little bit of stick work. Here we got Corey Dial. Corey Dial's looking. He's bobbing and weaving we got curtis roach here we got they're working together them two obviously they're both ex nhlers one played for the larange uh larange uh, ice wolves and uh that would have been corey dial dl and then you got curtis roach who played for the flint flon junior bombers scotchin junior hockey league the same team that i played back in the day in the mid 80s all right folks i really like that maroon color because it brings back memory I remember growing up a kid, I loved that color. Okay, folks, let's get back into the game here. Okay, we're going to get a reset here. We're at 3.18 stop time. one nothing. Peter Ballantyne. It's tight. Peter Ballantyne's looking to pull this off here, folks. They're moving up that ladder in the mountain. They want Freddie. All right, they're hungry for Freddie. Here we go. We got Corey Dial. He shoots with the Curtis Rose. Shoots it in the air, keeps it alive. We're at 3.09, folks. They're keeping the live. Who do we got? Where do we got Corey Dale? He's quarterback. He's running. Man, we got a power play here, folks. Five on four. They got the guns out there. Here we go. They're moving the puck. We're waiting and waiting, being patient, waiting for that shot. All right, folks, here we go. We have, here we go. We have, it's even up. We have five on five. Now, no more five on four. Five on five. Here we go, folks. Cody Michella, backhand. Who do we have? And he comes out in front trying to, Trying to catch the goalie off. Guard. Oh, he gets a check. He's okay. Nothing wrong with that. He's just laying there. He just got rubbed out. Here we go. We got Curtis Roach. And an open net, folks. Here we go. An open net. He got checked. He was held down there. It looked like he, was, he looked like a, a, a calf and a cowboy trying to string him up. And he was down there for at least eight seconds. And he was allowed to go. He gets up all of a sudden. He goes straight to the net. Guess what? There's a, there's a little cup of gravy there called the puck. He takes it in. He scores and he hits the twine. Ah, here we go, folks. Oh, looks like we have, we looks like we have a 30-second timeout. All right, that's two goals for Curtis Roach. He's been very effective, very articulate out there. The guys are looking at him. They're being inspired with that type of player. If you have a player like that, why can't you do the same? That's why you have captains, they're called. Sometimes you don't wear the letters, but if you see the effort, you look at that. If they can do that, I can do that. So next shift, let's go do some damage. So we have a 30-second timeout for Sandy Lake right now. They're regrouping. They got the board out. They're talking right now. We have people wondering what they're gonna do. We gotta be smart about here. We were going down to nothing. It don't mean nothing. Lots of things can come. Like I said, the hockey gods are out. They're always out, especially when they're, especially when they're uh, out and about in the hockey, on the hockey world, when the games are going on. Here we go, we got a little bit of conversation going on with number 16 and 75. They seem to be okay. They're just having a, saying hi, hello, you know. Uh, speaking in their native language, keeping up the cultural uh, exchange and uh, keeping our languages strong on the ice. And you want that, eh? We're always uh, advocating to keep our languages, and they're doing that on the ice. Hey, there you go. 88 has puck possession at the point. He shoots up. They're going to try the, the pinball thing. It doesn't work out this time, but I tell you what, they're going to continue to keep doing this strategy. We got Joe Hicketts here. He uses one hand. He uses, and that's a good thing. Why not use your other hands as an extension of your body? All right, is this not your stick? All right, so again, remember, you've got, you got four limbs. you got two legs, two arms, and you got another limb there. It's about four feet, five feet long. Use that. Here we go. we got a tip. Doesn't go in. Try to do a back pass. Doesn't, unsuccessful. Here we're, they're, they're setting up. Somebody has to force them. Nobody, they're going to wait. they got to force them. There's a five on. He takes a shot, and it doesn't go. 
the goalie stops that, the, the, the referee calls it off. We're sitting at 120, the pressure's on, folks. They're laying it on right now. Goes to the point. Oh, he's got to. He's got to get. Oh, he gets it. We have a breakaway, folks. Here we go. The Jets. We have an open net. Here we go, folks. We're sitting at three nothing. Peter Valentine is looking good, and it looks like we look like we have a game here. That uh, it looks like. If you look at the board, it's three nothing. Sandy Lake pulled their goalie, and why wouldn't you not? Right? You call the timeout. Yeah, you're trying to be a tactician. You know. Stuff like that's a for you know it's an effort. You really got to give them that uh, that that type of uh, uh, kudos and uh, effort. So okay, let's go back here. We're uh, just about one minute into the period here, and then we're going to be calling the game. But hey, they're not going to quit and see they're going to try to keep scoring goals. Sandy Lake never never quit. That's the name of the game. Well, we got a back check. Well, we don't. We have poke check. Here we go. Now we have. We're sitting at 53 seconds, and again here we go. Wrap around. We got a 3-0 lead for Peter Ballantyne, Cree Nation Stars. It was a strong game. It looked pretty even in the beginning. Then the third period, I noticed they started hitting. It seemed like once you got into hitting, it opened up the things, and the players, that uh, the professional players recognized that, and they capitalized on plays like that. So here you go, folks. Here we are. Here we are, number 50, number 30. We're counting down. Another chance, just about. Guy Gats and Cree means just about. All right, we got Mr. Dorn. He's going to keep it. He gets rubbed out. Not much. All right, here we go. We're looking at 17 seconds, folks. 17 seconds. We, they're working him. 17. He's working him, working him. Here we go. Here we go. He's working him. Still working him. We got number 77. Here we go. Behind the net. It looks like we're going to be hearing the buzzer pretty quick. Oh, we got a little bit of physicality. No problem. No problem. Just step away from that. Uh, nothing wrong. No, no. Uh, step away from that, boys. You got the referees in there. You know, separating them, and uh, that's what you want. You know what? When you win or lose, you want humility, all right? You win, you feel good. You lose, you don't feel good, but you know what? It's going to make you determined to win the next game. So, you know, we're going to have a ceremonial handshake here. Hopefully all the hard feelings are going to be left on the ice, and you get into the dressing room. We start over, look forward to the new game, and readjust and get ready for that, all right? So it looks like we're done this game, folks, and uh, we have, again, cer ceremonial handshake. This has been going on for decades. This is all part of camaraderie, you know, uh, having respect for each other. They played a hard game. They played their hearts out, and that's all you would ask for. They came to Freddy. They want, to, they want the Freddy Cup. Unfortunately, some teams are going to be going home today, and that's just the name of the game, folks. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to come off the air, and I tell you what, I'll be calling the next game. And again, be sure to come in tonight. We have a championship game going on tonight. And that was going to be going on at, let me see. We are looking at 8 o'clock at Merlis Wonder Rink. All right. So come on down. Come and see a championship game. And come see some Olympians. And come see some raw town, folks. Here we go. We have a goalie here. It looks like he's the player of the game. And that he is. No, he's just shaking the hands of the refs. Here we go, folks. Great game. I'm going to sign off now. You guys stay. Come on down. Come on. Talk to you later.